Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ali and in today's video we're going to be tackling a topic that is crucial in video production, audio. We'll explore how to level up your audio game on the Sony ZV-E10 using external microphones as well as tweaking a couple settings in the menu to nail that perfect sound quality. Buddy, I want to start off this video by emphasizing how important it is to have good sound quality. It just levels up your video that much more. You can get a basic looking video of just, you know, a sitting shot of me talking, adjusting a couple things on the menu, maybe using an external microphone, and my video just went that much better. Moving on to the second topic that I want to talk about is different types types of microphones you can attach to the Sony ZV-E10. Now the one I'm going to be using is the Rode VideoMic Go 2 and that's what you guys are hearing me on right now. It is the hands down the best microphone for $100 that you can buy. Sound quality is professional and there's a lot of things going on in the background. You can't really hear them because I've had all different types of microphones on a budget but this one I have to say is the best one by far. Let's go on outside and actually test the microphone just to show you guys outside what it sounds like. Bunch of noise. I live on a really busy street, so let's test it out. We have the cameras side by side. No stabilization on the Sony ZV-E10 and the built-in stabilization on the iPhone, I guess. But anyway, so this is what they look like. I can't really see myself on the iPhone, but I can see myself on the ZV-E10. And the cool thing about that is that I can see it before I color grade, which is pretty cool. I know what I, you know, it gives me an idea of what I can do with the photo. But anyways, this is the camera qualities you guys can see just holding it up walking around uh, let's go back to the shade here the settings that I want you to go to in the menu the audio settings and what I really want you to do is just your audio should be at negative 12 that's where the sweet spot hits baby so negative 12 you're 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 not too low you're not too loud and in post-production you can um, actually tweak those uh, to your liking and you get really really good sound and quality but that's really the main uh, thing I do when it comes to audio in the settings of the actual camera I just make sure that when I'm speaking I'm hitting negative 12 at the max you know negative like 10 11 at the least so I try to aim for that so that's the main menu setting well everybody that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can make some more Sony ZV-E10 videos stay tuned for the next video where I talk about some of my settings I use when I'm creating cinematic videos